Yeah, I'm up early in the morning rambling in my head, so I might as well get my thoughts out on audio, so at least I'll have some content for the day. I've been thinking over the last few days, especially the last couple of weeks with all this kerfuffle going on about what's going on in the manosphere, all this bullshit behind the scenes. And I've we've made a few posts about you know, Ron made a few posts about women in higher classes and men in higher classes and who select, non-select, all that kind of that kind of stuff, right? And we have people that are, are opposed to these ideas or opposed to these truths, even though they're, everybody knows that they're true, but people don't like hearing them. And last I heard that the manosphere as a whole is supposed to be a red pill space. And what does red pill mean? Red pill is not about opinion. Red pill is about truth, the bare, naked truth. A little morality mixed in here or there, but it's the bare, naked truth. And as competition going on between men in this space, it's really not about who places his penis someplace and who doesn't, or who gets chosen and who doesn't. The real honest thing, the competition is going on is basically between your blue pill training and the red pill truth. The blue pill facade that has been taught to us, laid down to us, and perpetuated by countless generations. And the bare naked red pill truth of what this, what it really is, the world behind your eyes, or the world beyond the matrix. What the matrix really look like, or should I say looks like, and both men and women really don't want to see what the matrix really looks like out, outside of it. Men and women really want to be inside the matrix. That's why can we pretend love, honor, and cherish, caring and non-caring. And, and guess what's happening right now with this coronavirus going on? Basically, everybody's dropping that blue pill shit and everybody's losing their fucking minds. And now this is the acid test because a lot of guys, especially in this space, in the black male sector, who are supposed to be red pill, but they're hoping for blue pill realities. They're hoping to go back to the 1960s, not the 1960s or 1950s economically or even environmentally. They wanted to go back relationship wise, where you had a reasonable rein in on your women and vice versa. Even though you know that you can't go back to it because nobody wants to go back into Jim Crow. Nobody wants to go back to the way we used to live in poverty, which, which, you know, 75% of us lived in poverty back below, back before the 1950s. Don't have to believe that and go back and look at it. Nobody wants to give up modern wealth, but you want the same old relationships with in modern times. And basically you can't put a relationship or people in different times and spaces and environments and expect them to remain the same. It doesn't work that way. And it hasn't for the last 50 years. Really, the last 60 years, it hasn't worked that way. But I came to this space wanting to understand not the nature of women interpersonally because I found out way before YouTube was a thing. Well, before the internet was, the internet was a thing. Social media was a thing. I had personally already found out basically the true nature of women for the most part. Not perfectly, but for the most part. Interpersonally, I understood them. By the time I got 40, I understood them. In fact, so well, I actually understood women better than they understood themselves, of which I have demonstrated here on YouTube over the past five years. But I came on YouTube to understand women as part of society and men as part of society and what shaped these dynamics from a broader perspective. Because you can't do that person to person. You're going to have to read. You're going to have to expand your horizons. You're going to have to go to and, and look at different cultures. Because our culture is trained and defined and is narrowed by an environment. And if you go to another culture someplace else, it's going to be different. But if you want to understand the dynamic, you have to look at all of them. Which is why I came to... MGTOW first, which is the Black Nazi Speech Channel in 2013, and then to the Black Sector, which is IBMOR in 2015. 
to have a dialogue, to get feedback, to throw out ideas and receive ideas. So I can start piecing together the puzzle of what the dynamic was with the real piecing together of the red pill, but also discovering what the black pill really is. And from being here from the very beginning, it was always the complaint about the environment and how black women were acting and how black women were treating black men, which is a valid point. I never argued that it wasn't a valid point. Understanding what black women do and, and why they do it, which most guys really don't want to know. They really don't want to know. They pretend that they do, but they really don't want to know. What they really want is how to get black women back the way that we think that they used to be. Even though most guys on this panel weren't even born when black women were actually raised and were that way. Most guys weren't even born. Most guys in this sector weren't even born. They have no clue what black women were like before this modern era. I'm a boomer, I'm in my 60s. And even when I was, I came of age, I was going through the transition. So what women were really like before this, I can surmise because my mother was born then and my grandmother was born in 1910. So I can surmise, but I didn't have interpersonal relationships with my grandmother and my mother. And from observing them and talking to them, listening to their stories, what a lot of black men think black men, black women really were, they weren't. It was a compromise. It's always been a compromise and distinctly different from the compromise white women made with their men. And you study other groups across the world, you find out that it's a compromise and that compromise will change according to the environment that you're in, the society environment that you're in, that compromise will change. But I'm a white person and most men, most people in this sector are not interested in a why. They're interested in the how. They're not really interested in how it happened. They're just interested in how can we get the desired outcomes that we wish, which is really not red pill. That's really blue pill. I got pulled around here with blue pill wishes. Red pill is about the why. If you listen to a Ron Wills, if you listen to a Kevin Samuels, if you listen to a Roller Tomasi, if you listen to a coach, a Greg Adams, if you listen to anybody, I would include myself, but in this one, I'm not going to include myself. People think I'm arrogant enough as it is. I have a big enough ego as it is, and I do. People think that because I'm black and I speak, so I should be egoless, and I'm not. I am not egoless. But all these people in this sector that actually are popular are, are basically telling you why. The real red people are telling you why. Not how, but why. Now, to get to the why, you're going to have to get into somehow how we got here, how things were formed, with the history of it, of how things happened, or how things were, to inform you to the why. But most people on here are going for blue pill wishes. That's how come this Pookie and Ray Ray debate goes back and, back and forth, or this educated lame stuff goes back and forth, or this... Uh, essential productive goes back and forth because the essential man, the productive man, the educated lame, all that kind of stuff has nothing to do with red pill or blue pill shit because you're trying to create a, a internal hierarchy. And that internal hierarchy is really about attracting the women on the other side. How do you get these women to conform to whatever picture of reality that we want to make up for ourselves. That's blue pill. Red pill is basically, this is my environment. These are the cards that I have to play inside this environment. These are my options. How do I make the best of them and be real about it? Because, because there's going to be limits to everything. I'm not a millionaire. Those aren't in my cards. I have other attributes. But when I was young, I had other attributes. But those are the cards that were dealt to me. And my job as a human being is to play the cards the best way that I can. Not imagine that my hand is better than it is or better than somebody else's. Comparing myself to somebody else is, is good because it know, lets me know where I stand as far as in a position for whatever I'm trying to get or whatever I'm trying to attain. But, his, but that person's cards are not my cards. 
and the person next to me cards are not my cards. I can only play my cards. Can't play his. I can't throw dirt on his cards because I don't like him or I'm trying to compete against him. My cards are my cards. That is red pill. Understanding how my cards are gonna stack up in a given environment, that is supposed to be red pill. Knowing why the cards turn or how the game is played or what the rules of the game informs me of how and why the flow of the game is, is caused, that's red pill. Screaming that it's not fair is not red pill. Screaming that it should be something other than it is is not red pill. Screaming that I shouldn't adapt and the environment and the world should adapt to me is not red pill, that's blue pill. That's even beyond blue pill, that's, that's delusional blue pill. Being mad that my cards won't stack up against somebody else's cards, that is definitely blue pill. Red pill is looking at your cards, looking at the game, and figuring out how I can skillfully play the game to get the outcome that I want. That's red pill. And being honest about what I really want. Being honest about what I really want. Most guys want the environment to change, to get that woman to conform. Even after they've seen the red pill side and knowing that that woman is conforming for a reason. She's gonna comply. She's gonna cooperate. She's gonna cooperate for the re for her red pill reasons, her reality. Now, if that's what you want, then you need to play your cards to the best of your ability to get that cooperation and outcome. And you think that would be fairly obvious. You want, basically, if you want some pussy, you and that's what you want, you go trick. It doesn't matter whether you paid for it, doesn't matter whether you ran game on her. It doesn't matter whether you worked out in the gym and got it. It doesn't matter any of that. You got the woman, you got her comply, you got her panties off and that's what you got. Now, then, you know, you can get in your mind, well, if, if I did all this, then I should get to her best sex. I should get her desire. Then you conflating about what you really want. You just wanted the woman to comply and, and have sex with you. You didn't say what kind, you didn't say what's gonna have to go inside her, her being, her heart, her head. You just wanted this. So you worked your tail off, you got some money up and you got this. And she complied with your wishes because you fit the model to get that, that level of cooperation. But now you want genuine desire, as Rola Tomasi says. Genuine caring, genuine love. It's a completely separate item. And basically, now you need to go above and beyond to get that. You need to be more careful with your selection to get that. Because for that particular woman, you may not qualify to get those things. To get that particular woman, your money may not be enough to even get sex from her. That's red pill. Me and Rom and, and a bunch of others have given you stomp down, hardcore, red pill knowledge about how this system works and why the system works for the last five years and we have been completely accurate about how and why the system works and what kind of cooperation you were going to get and now that you're going to get this cooperation what you're really finding out is that what, what most guys really want is genuine desire and genuine love and that is a completely different conversation that's a completely different conversation because a lot of guys, it really, it really isn't really about sex. Sex is just one. It's a, it's an appetite. It's a need, but, se but it's actually secondary. But most guys don't want to admit it. It's secondary. What you really want is for her to care about you. What you really want for, for her is to desire you. What you really want for her is to love you, with the cards that you have and the qualifications that you have. No guy ever flips the, the, the table and think that women operate basically the same way you do. She operate now her hardware may be different, her software may be slightly different, but her desire works almost the same when yours does. It's like a woman's money is not gonna make her pretty. Your money is not gonna make you handsome. It's like a woman's money is not gonna get bring genuine desire out of you. Your money is not gonna bring genuine desire out of her. The only difference is, is because she desires safety and protection and resources. She'll give you more cooperation. 
than you give a woman with money. It's the only difference. Now, if cooperation and compliance is what you want from a woman, along with, with, with whatever kind of sex you're going to get from her, by all means, get your money up, dig in your pocket and go for it. But I think most guys, from what I'm hearing, what I usually hear, most guys want to be loved. They want to be, they want genuine desire. Rolo Tomasi says the same thing about most white guys. They want genuine desire. They want to be loved. They want genuine caring. All of which you can actually get without sex. You can get genuine caring and genuine love from a female without sex. You really can. It's called a fucking friend zone. Genuine the physical desire you cannot get without sex, without sex appeal. Women know that, you know that. And even women know genuine desire in, in having her sexual desires fulfilled. She can separate that just like you can separate it. Women are not stupid. They live that blue pill fantasy just like you live in that blue pill fantasy. A lot of you guys don't want to give up the blue pill fantasy. And what you really want is how to get women to comply with, you, with your idea of the blue pill fantasy. What you really want is not a red pill. What you really want is the blue pill fantasy to come back. That's what you really want. And you think that because I'm red pill and I'm a, you know, I'm a MGTOW more that I want the same things you want. And the fact is, no, I don't. I know how to get genuine desire, genuine love and compassion from females without having sex from them. I know how to make a woman's face light up when I walk into a room. I don't have to have sex with her, where she's really happy to see me. She really wants to talk to me, but I don't have to have sex with her. I know how to be, basically, I know how to, if I really wanted to, how to get a, a woman's desire up, if that's what you really want. But most guys don't want to be a concubine, or they look down on being a concubine. Because it's really not sexual desire they really want. They want the whole package. Like, why do I have to change myself to be desired by a woman? I hear that a lot. I don't want to change myself. I don't want to change the way I act. That woman should conform to me. No, she doesn't have to conform to you. I shouldn't have to change. She's saying the exact same thing that the woman is saying. She's saying the exact blue pill shit that you're saying. When the reality of the truth is, no, that's not true. If a black woman really wants genuine desire by a, a, a lot of guys, she's going to have to lose weight. She's going to have to be physically attractive. Point blank, period. If a man wants to be genuinely desired by the vast majority of women, physically and sexually, he's going to have to be genuinely good looking and physically in shape and all the kind of stuff that women desire. Point blank, period. Are there other things that mix into it with with uh, intelligence, personalities, a suaveness, all that kind of stuff. Yes, there's things that sprinkle into it. But the thing is, do you do you genuinely want to be physically desired by women or not? If the answer is no, then you need to accept your red reality. That's not really what you want. If you want an eight, nine, and ten, then there's certain you know for the vast majority of them, there's certain parameters you're gonna have to go through that you're going to have to have prerequisites you're going to have to, you're going to have to shuffle the deck the, of the cards that you have and play them skillfully to get that even then you might not qualify in that game for that particular woman or if you want eight nine and ten that fits your definition of, of what you want and will accept you for who you are you're going to have to filter through a lot of women i do mean a lot of women and most of you guys are not going to want to do that kind of work and I am getting tired of the blue pill fantasy. I really am. I'm really getting tired of the blue pill fantasy. Y'all getting angry about a blue pill world that don't exist. In fact, the blue pill fantasy, the blue pill matrix is only in your heads. It's not even in reality because reality, women are really showing the reality because they don't have to hide. Women are not even gassing guys' heads up like that anymore. They're really not. They're really not gassing up a, a guy's heads anymore. But I am getting awfully tired of blue pill shit going on in red pill spaces. I really am. I'm getting tired of debating with the guys who claim that they're red pill, debating with blue pill women about bullshit when everybody knows what the fucking truth is. I, I'm getting tired of hearing. I was just listening to LAR going back and forth with Faith. The same fucking lies that have been going on for the past 20 years, past 40 years, coming right out of her mouth. Had to click off on it. 
everybody fucking knows that what what this shit that's going on about the blame game is fu- are fucking lies. About the fantasy about what used to go on between men and women, fucking lies. No, because we need stability. We really need that matrix in place because, like, like I said, even in the Matrix movie, only a small percent of human beings were actually able to live outside the matrix because Zion could not support that many people. I believe in the red pill space. Red pill space, even though we're spitting truth, it really can't support that many people. Too many people need the blue pill matrix. They, they need it psychologically, emotionally. They need the blue pill fantasy, men and women, because you're not willing to let go of, of the, all the fucking lies that you tell to yourself that have been told to you, that you keep repeating. If you want compliance from women, you want straight up cooperation from women, b- basically, you need, you know, like Wolf said, you need to have a reason to have her. And you're going to have to stop wishing for love. The Chinese don't believe in that shit. The Koreans don't believe in that shit. Japanese don't even believe in that shit. Men and women get together for a fucking reason. Most marriages throughout the history of the world, men and women get, uh, get together for a fucking reason. Love has nothing to do with it. She's here for a purpose. You're here for a purpose. Love has nothing to do with it. You got a role, she got a role. Love has nothing to do with it. A lot of guys are conflating roles and purpose with love. Though a lot of the stuff that was needed back then is not needed now. You're playing with different rules, okay? Unless you're willing to blow all this stuff up, those rules are not coming back. Even now that there's a meltdown, okay? And some of those rules are being adjusted because there's a need for it but guess what that blue pill fantasy that you thought that existed 50 60 years ago you're finding out exactly what your grandparents and your great grandparents knew okay you're actually finding it out i'm seeing a lot of guys don't like that shit you want a genuine love because you thought your grandparents genuinely loved each other now they grew to love each other some of them but the marriage and stability and family were not what you thought it was. A lot of what you see as far as a mother, uh, the two people being married for 60 years really wasn't about love. It's about training. But that's beyond red pill. That's black pill. And I know y'all can't take that because you ain't ready for it. Because if you're ready for it, you do what's necessary and you would get it done. You wouldn't worry about whether you tricked for the pussy or you got it through genuine desire. But you ain't black pill enough to do that shit. You're barely red pill. And you really want, what you really want is use the red pill to actually recreate a blue pill matrix. That's what you really want. That's what I'm hearing that all the guys really want. You really want to be red pill long enough to actually convince the women to actually reconstruct another blue pill matrix. You're not really here for a red pill or a red pill space. But a lot of you guys are too fucking cowardly to admit it. You don't want to admit it. Admit that you really what you want is a blue pill matrix. Admit it. That's what you really desire. Let's get that out in the open and stop trying to pretend like you're fucking red pill because you're not. What you're afraid of is if you do get that blue pill fantasy that you won't be able to accept it because you, like Cypher says, you can't not unsee what you've already seen. Once unplugged, getting plugged back into the matrix you're going to see the matrix with different eyes and i think that's what's really bothering guys because now the chicks are coming back you're getting the hey big heads you get together you're getting the misuse i miss you you're getting the does the pipe still work because i want to go by and i want to have sex with you you get old girlfriends hitting you back up because now because now with this crisis the matrix is down and the red pill is staring in your face and a lot of you negroes can't handle it I'm, I can tell that you can't handle it because now that, that blue pill fantasy that you wanted with certain chicks or any chick, you can't swallow the blue pill because the red one is in your way. You can't enjoy the blue pill fantasy because, you, because you've already taken a red pill. You know that it's not real. So you attack other brothers because you think other brothers, other guys that are spitting red pill truth are in your way from actually you achieving your blue pill fantasy. What do you think about certain the group with a race all over again is about it's about getting fucking cooperation from women it's not building a better society it's really not you want to reset everything so you can get what you think was the 1950s in the 21st century 
You want fucking Stepford wires with a wet pussy. Admit it. That's not red pill, boss. That's really not red pill. Remember at the end of um, Avengers Endgame, when Captain America had to put back all the all the stones, had to put them back in place where they were. Because they had gone through time to collect all this stuff, right? And Captain America had lived through the Thanos and all the black pill realities. And he's supposed to go back in time, replace all the stones, and come back to the future, back to the present time. But what happened at the end of Endgame, he wanted a blue pill life. He wanted to give up the red pill. He wanted to forget, or at least forget for a moment, about Thanos, about the Avengers. He wanted to forget all about that. So he basically created a new timeline where he was actually enjoying the love of his life to the point where he became an old man. Even though he was red pill, he knew what the real deal was, but he was willing to reconstruct a blue pill life. And he's willing to accept the boundaries and the cost of doing that. But a lot of you guys aren't. You holler, kick, and scream, but you don't really want to deal with reality. You don't want to deal with the why. You really don't want to deal with the how. All you want is a blue pill fantasy in the 21st century, but you won't admit it. And that's where the anger and disgust and the frustration is coming from. It's not coming from the red pill. It's really not coming from the women. It's actually coming from your idea of what the world's supposed to be, and it's not. Anyway, I think I've ranted and rambled long enough. So with that, I'm going to bounce off of here. Uh, and this is serve as my morning talk for today. This is BGS 